In this clip we'll revise the two most basic rules of differentiation, how to deal with constants and how to deal with uh, power terms. So let's start with the constant rule. Assume we have a function f of x and that function is just a constant, any constant, so we'll call it c. The question now is what's the slope of this function at any value of x. So let's actually sketch that function. If f of x is a constant, well, it will just look like this. So the question is now what is the slope of that function at any value x? Well, we don't need any sophisticated maths to realize the slope is zero. It's flat. So this is the rule. If you have just a constant, the first derivative of this is just the value of zero. So the function of the first derivative just looks flat and flat at the value zero. So the next rule we're going to look at is the uh, power rule. And that is really, really crucial. And we will assume that you have a, absolutely a black belt in this power rule. So let's start with the generic form of the power rule. We have a function f of x and that function is x to the power of n. The first derivative of this function is then as follows. State the original function again, x to the power of n. Now we take the exponent and move that to the front or copy that to the front and then we add a negative one to the exponent. So the first derivative is n times x to the power of n minus 1. This will make sense once we look at an example. So here we have a function f of x is x to the 7. And the first derivative is then, we'll start with x to the 7. We put the 7 in front and subtract one of the exponents. So it's 7 times x to the 6. So let's look at another function g of z. We can use other symbols than x and f. Let that function be z to the power of negative 3. Of course, you remember that that is just 1 over z to the 3. So what's the first derivative of this? We'll start out with z to the negative 3. We turn, put the negative 3 in front and subtract minus 1 according to our general rule. So that's negative 3 times z to the negative 4. So no real magic here. Next, we will slightly generalize our power rule. Just imagine there's a constant c in front of our function x to the power of n. The first derivative will then just get that factor c in front of the result. So let's look at an example. f of x be x to the third, but now we'll put a factor in front of it, say a 2. So what's the first derivative of this? f prime x. That will be 2. We will just copy that constant and then we apply our rule 3 times x to the 3 minus 1. So 2 times 3 is 6 times x to the power of 2. So next I want you to test your understanding. Here's a function g of z is equal to 8 times 1 over z squared. The question now, quite straightforward, is what is g prime of z? What's the first derivative? Pause the clip and attempt the question yourself. So here we are back for the solution. First, it's possibly easiest to reformulate the function g of z into 8 times z to the negative 2. And then we apply our rule. g prime z is the following. That 8 is just a factor. It just translates 8 times. And now the power derivative, negative 2 in front. Subtract 1 from the exponent. And what we are left with is negative 16 times z to the power of negative 3.